Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some underrated romance recommendations on Kindle Unlimited. So I thought it would be fun to recommend y'all some books that I love. They're on KU, but they're more on the underrated side. So I picked 15 books that were under 1000 ratings on Goodreads that I rated either a four star or higher, and I'm going to be recommending them to you today. I'm going to be going from most ratings to least ratings. So the book that has the least number of ratings will be the last book that I talk about for this video. So we're going to be going in order basically. And yeah, either gave these books like four stars or higher. I really enjoyed all of these books and would recommend them. The first one that I have to talk about is Release by Claire Kent with 973 ratings. This is the second book to Hold, which is a sci-fi romance that gets a lot of traction. A lot of people know about it, um, but release is book two. Um, this series is a sci-fi romance series. Um, all of like the people in it are humanoids. Like they are all humans. They just take place on different planets that have like different themes to them basically. So Hold, the first book in the series takes place on a prison planet. Book three, Fall, takes place on like a prehistoric planet. This book, book two, release takes place on this like royal planet of sorts. This one is about Hall, who we've met in book one in the series. He was also on the prison planet, but he ended up escaping with the couple from book one. And he ends up having to do this job on this royal planet. He ends up meeting Kyla, who is the sister to the queen. The only way he can get on the planet is to pretend that he's like trying to court the queen. But once he sees Kyla, he is absolutely enthralled by her. They have to like keep their attraction a secret because if anyone were to find out that he wasn't actually there to court the queen, like he could be <laughs> beheaded. So I really enjoyed this one. It's a very fast, quick sci-fi read. I really like these books in the series because you have like all these different themes on each planet that are just so interesting. The next one on the list is The Stoneheart Bride by Katie Weil. This book has 939 ratings. And it's a little novella. I feel like I have a few novellas on this list uh, because uh, a lot of people prefer full length novels to novellas, which I totally understand. And this one's fairly short. When it comes to novella, it's like 50 pages and it takes place on a fantasy land. This one's about Flora and Brom. Flora is the niece to the king of the land and she really wants to marry Brom. She's gotten to know him for the past couple of months and really wants to marry him. But once her uncle like, tells Brom like, hey, how about you marry my niece? Like it could be a really good alliance. He immediately says, no, I could never marry her. And Flora is like very heartbroken by this. And she basically goes into the woods to like calm down. But then she ends up getting kidnapped, I think by some orcs and guess who comes to try and rescue her. For how short it was, this is such a good read. I gave it like 4.5 stars and it's so hot too. Like it's so good. I love Katie Wilde, like her books. Hit it. Next one is Rescued by Her Alien Mate by Ava York and Star Huntress. If you can't tell, this is an alien romance. And it has 917 ratings. This is the first book in the Warriors of Tadali series, which gives me IPV vibes, but not being IPV at all. It like gives me the vibes of um, you have this group of human women who were kidnapped from Earth and their spaceship ends up crashing on this alien planet filled with good aliens. <laughs> Our hero here is kind of like the king of his village of aliens and he ends up seeing the spaceship like crash and he goes to investigate and he finds all these women and they have translators in their ears like they were fitted with translators um so they can understand these alien guys but the alien guys can't understand them so there's this language barrier here um but then they're able to see if they're fated mates with them or not when their eyes start glowing kind of like the guy on the cover and he finds out the guy the king guy finds out that the leader of these human women um is his fated mate and he takes them to his village and tries to get them like acclimated with his people and his culture and way of life and everything and try to understand these women. So that's what the first book is about. I don't know what the other books are about. I haven't read the other books in the series, but if you want like books that remind you of IPB, I definitely would try this book out at least. Um, Cause it definitely like fed my need for an IPB book without it being an IPB book, you know? One is my only like book that I actually have physically. And this is Hush Darling by Avery Kingston. 
I had no idea this had a low number of ratings. I would never have thought that, but it has only 874 ratings on Goodreads. Our heroine in here is on the run from her abusive husband. She just found out that she's pregnant and that was like the main spark for her to get away from her husband. She's like, I am not raising a child with this man who beats me and abuses me every single day of my life not gonna happen so she ends up running away like trying to fake her own death but the car that she's in ends up crashing during a snowstorm and the only like refuge nearby is this abandoned cabin little does she know that our hero here tanner owns the cabins on the property as like rentals and he notices that someone's staying in one of his cabins um but he didn't run it out to anybody so he goes to investigate and he finds gia there our heroine he finds her he's determined to help this very traumatized woman he can tell something bad has happened to her. But he has no idea that he's gonna fall in love with this one. He also has no idea that she's on the run. He has no idea that she's pregnant. So there's a lot of drama going into this one. A representation that I loved here is that our hero is deaf and he has the sweetest dog ever. Like I love his dog too. Um, but this one is when I was so surprised had a low number of ratings because more people need to read it. One that I absolutely love that I wish more people would pick up is Set the Record Straight by Hannah Bonham Young. This one has only 778 ratings. I love this author so much and this is such a cute sweet book. I love it. This one's about Clara and Evan. They're each other's oldest and best friends and the two of them need to go on dates and need to fake date for their own respective reasons. So they decide to fake date each other but then one day when they decide to kiss in front of people, um, the kiss suddenly turns into not fake. <laughs> and when they're done kissing, they realize that's the best kiss they've ever had in their entire life. Like, what is going on? One of the girls here didn't even think about the fact that she couldn't be straight. Um, so it's kind of like her realizing like, oh my gosh, like this woman in front of me has been in, in front of me my entire life. Like how could I have not pictured this, you know? And the fact that Hannah Bottom Young wrote these characters with like, fantastic well-rounded personalities in under 200 pages. She's an artist. Clara has ADHD, Evan is autistic. I love the representation in here and just their relationship and how it developed like A plus, A freaking plus. And I have I've Walked Where You've Been by Marina Vivancos. I totally give credit to Samantha from Books with Samantha for getting me to read this one because she loves this author so much. I just had to pick this one up um, because she was talking about how this one's like soulmates and I was like, say less. When you say soulmates, I am here for it. <laughs> this one has 768 ratings. And again, it's another novella, so I get it. Novellas aren't really read that much, but like these ones that I've talked about so far are so good. Like they're the best of the bunch. This novella takes place in our world, but with a little bit of a twist. It's as if like soulmates exist. And so when you first look at your soulmate, like the bond forms between y'all and you physically cannot be apart. So Maddie and Ethan are kind of like an anomaly because they form their bond, like they're walking across the street and see each other, their eyes lock and the bond forms. And they're only nine, <laughs> like that's unheard of for a bond to form um, when you're such a young age. And so they physically cannot be apart from each other for long periods of time, but they are total opposites. So they're not very happy about the situation. They don't like spending time together. This book like takes place in chunks of time, like starting out where they meet, trying to get to know each other, not really liking each other to going off to college together and having to be roommates and then them finally getting to know this person and falling in love with them like it was so beautiful then i have the mountains mate by sarah ivy hill with only 717 ratings this one is a who and a half if you want like an alien monster romance as you can just like cackle reading look no further um because this is like size difference of size difference books like <laughs> our hero here is literally giant and he can fit the heroin like in the palm of his hands and they're together like it's crazy so our heroine in here is a human woman who ends up accepting this job online she needs money for rent so she just like accepts it um and she lives on a planet with like a bunch of other aliens too she knows that aliens exist and monsters exist so she goes to this guy's place to complete this job and he opens the door and he's shocked to find this little tiny human woman is going to be performing this heist with him essentially and <laughs> the parts that have me cackling were just i don't even think if this book is supposed to be funny but it is like he's humongous and she's so small but this book was so entertaining to me then i have dad bod wingman by carla doyle this is a friends to lovers romance and it has 482 ratings jetson finally moves back to their very small town it opens up a bar and um he comes across bailey again and finally gets up enough nerve to ask her out on a date 
and she very eagerly says yes and he's shocked. <laughs> he's also super thrilled that this woman would even want to go on a date with him. This book is cute, but it's one of those books that's cute but hot. There are scenes from this book I think about to this day that are like drool worthy. They're so good. <laughs> then I have Rain Me In by Kayla Grossi. Um, I'm sorry, I still don't know how to pronounce her last name. I am the worst. <laughs> um, but this is a cowboy romance. Um, it has 454 ratings. This is a brother's best friend romance. Um, Blake in here goes back to her small country town after not being there for five years. Her brother ended up passing away five years ago and she hasn't really been back since, but her mother got injured recently. So she's gonna help to come take care of her and the branch that they run. Then one day she goes out to like the country Western dancing bar um, and runs into her brother's best friend. His name is Gavin and he works at the bar and he very pressure-y convinces her to ride the mechanical bull and they don't really get off on the right foot seeing each other again all these years. Gavin growing up had the hugest crush on um, Blake but she's a few years older than him and he thought like there's no chance ever that she would get with him but when she comes back in town he sees this as a perfect opportunity to finally get the woman he's always wanted. Like Mm. I love this one so much is like my favorite book from June. I loved this cowboy romance. If you need a good cowboy romance in your life, you need to pick this one up. Next I have Bottle Rocket by Erin McClellan with 428 ratings. This is another like second chance romance situation. Rosie in here is truly trying to find her passion in life. She keeps trying out new hobbies to try and find something she really wants to do with her life. There she bumps into Leo at like an art class who was the guy she dated in high school, who was a bad boy. He's back in town for a few days. She sees this as the perfect opportunity to like have like a no strings attached couple of days with her high school guy. They're going to be completing a list essentially of things that Rosie's always wanted to do. And those things may or may not be uh, not safe for work things. Um, but yeah, this book is super hot. Erin McLellan knows how to write hot books for sure. Another novella is Sold to Her Ex's Dad by Casey Rose. This book has 358 ratings. I think the title kind of explains it all. <laughs> Aspen recently lost her mom and she's really struggling to pay for medical bills. So she decides to auction her V-card off for the highest price at a certain type of club. What she doesn't expect is for her ex's ex-boyfriend's dad to be at that auction and ends up paying $5 million to have her. If you need a short, quick read with this trope that like everyone loves, mostly everyone loves, I definitely need to read more from this author. I think she has the possibility to be like my new Jessica Kane Cassie Mint novella author. Then I have His Huge Horns by Lila Faye. This has 312 ratings. This one is bizarre to say the least. Like if you like monster romances, go on ahead and pick this one up. <laughs> so this one's about Lily and this monster king. So Lily lives in this village where every year a young woman ends up getting sacrificed to go to this monster king that lives in this castle on the land in exchange he will protect the people in the land. The woman has to be there for three days and she can come back to the village. Lily's sister has been picked this year and her sister is absolutely terrified so she's gonna take her sister's place. She's a little scared obviously, like she was not expecting to have to go through this but she really wants to save her sister. Um, but what she doesn't expect to have so much fun with this monster king in his castle. <laughs> then I have Sweet Valentine by Aubrey Inn. This has 231 ratings. I think I read this during the novella-a-thon during Valentine's Day. It was our Valentine's Day themed one um, and it was such a good read for it being a little Valentine's Day novella. It literally has a rating, average rating of 4.61. Like that's an amazing rating. So this book takes place on Valentine's Day in this hotel. It's the romance between two celebrities that are in this hotel and they have no idea that the other person is famous <laughs> when they're together. They end up meeting at a hotel in the middle of nowhere like like not to see each other, but like I think they meet at the hotel bar and they realize like they're the only single people at this hotel right now. So why not just do something, you know what I mean? And they're also just very attracted to each other. <laughs> and they're basically glued at the hip for the entire rest of their stay in this hotel. They have no clue who the person like actually is. So it comes as quite a shock when they reveal their true identities at the end of their trip. One of my favorite quotes that I wrote in this one um, that I wrote down for this one is, the only thing I want from you is you all of you, the good parts, the ugly parts, and the pieces of yourself that you hide away from the world, right? Yes, 
this. I also need to check out more books from this author for sure. Next is Dare or Death by K.L. Mann. I know this author writes a lot of a monster romances. So there are only 214 ratings for this book. This is about Ellie and she is a little bit of a scaredy cat um but she kind of gets peer pressured by her friend group to perform this demon seance thing um in her college's uh gym and they end up summoning a demon and it's a romance with the demon and the demon's husband so it's mmf <laughs> it's super fun I really enjoyed this one. That's all I can say about this one. It's a short little novella. And the last book that I have to recommend for this video is Roses in Winter by Penelope Daniels. This book only has 107 ratings. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that I really enjoyed. Um, our heroine in here lives in this village. She's married, um, but her husband is very abusive and she finally gets up enough nerve to run away. While she's running away, there's a snowstorm happening and she ends up collapsing in front of this gate to this giant mansion that's very run down. Little does she know that this cursed man lives in the castle with a bunch of cursed magical objects that help take care of him. So trigger warning here for sure for physical abuse, domestic abuse, domestic violence, because the husband does play a role in the book. Like he goes out to find her so there's like a scary part of this book um but i loved the beating the beast vibes for this one like i i, I love a good beating the beast retail anyways they have it those are some underrated kindle unlimited romance recommendations let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and let me know down below some underrated kindle limited reads that you love if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a rose emoji in the comment section down below but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.